G'day guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be talking about something that I've been sort of experimenting with for quite a while and it's actually come pretty handy. I'm talking about winter variation on 2x2. Two two. Now this might seem a little bit weird because if you didn't know, winter variation is where you put the last F12 pair in in a different way than just inserting it like this while also completing the entire top yellow face so essentially it's skipping ol so for a quick example this is a really simple winter variation case where the whole top is done except for the pair and if you put it in normally just inserting it then the top isn't done but if you do a different algorithm like this simple it completes the top. It doesn't complete the PLL, but it completes the OLL. And so I'm gonna be explaining today how this is actually really beneficial to learn on two by two. So for starters, a winter variation case on two by two would look something like this because we only have corners, we don't have any edges. And so it would be this corner going into here in three moves, just like that. However, the top's already done. So it looks like that other case where we can do this and then it's solved. And obviously the PLL isn't However, that might lead into a really easy situation, something like this, especially if you're doing Ortega. Now to be clear, this probably doesn't necessarily work on every method, but Ortega, this is a really good one. And Ortega is the most common method for intermediate to slightly advanced two by two solvers. So for an example, if you had a case like this, where you have a few sort of pieces that are incorrectly, you might think of doing the red one, which would just go in here in three moves like that. However, green, as you can see, actually has a winter variation case. Now, what that case is, it looks something like this. It's sometimes a little bit hard to recognize, especially if you're not color neutral. However, it's like this, which is a very easy winter variation case. It's where you have the headlights here and everything else is solved. So if you put it in, it doesn't solve. However, how you solve this is you go like this and it solves the whole top. With this case, what this is doing is this is everything that's solved. You only need to look at the corners because obviously there's only corners. And you look at this one. So the headlights are here and it goes into this slot. So instead of putting it in, which doesn't solve it, we can simply do that same algorithm. And then it solves it, and now we have a really easy Ortega case where we have just these ones, and we can solve the whole thing. Another example is where we have something like this. So on three by three, it would look like this, where we have our pair here going into this slot, and the corner is going this way. So there's this big bar here. Everything else is solved. This is the same case. So we're looking at blue this time, blue going into here, it's just reversed. Uh, so instead of putting it in like that, which doesn't solve it, you can do this, you can sledge, do a few extra moves, and that solves it like that. So with the reverse, we can actually see this straight away and solve it like that. Now, as you can see, I'm not actually going to demonstrate the algorithms. However, I actually have another video, which I can put here about the best winter variation cases to learn because there is quite a few of them, but it's really not important to learn them all especially if you're only an intermediate cuba and you know you just want to get into it there's about five or so that you probably should learn that will really help your solves especially using this method for ortega which i'll show another example so the main thing here is choice because right now i can see that there is a white and a blue which it looks pretty good yellow also is here and that could be done as well interestingly enough yellow and white are actually the same case because yellow can go in in one move with everything solved and white can also do the same thing just like this with everything solved so which one do you want to do well you can look at it like this whichever one has the bar here see this one doesn't have any bars this one does have a bar you want to use that one so why is that because it solves the whole top yes it doesn't solve the bottom but it solves the top so why I wanted to bring this up is because one time in a competition, I got a solve that looked like this. Yes. Now, it was not exactly this scramble, um, but it was a case that was like this, where it was a winter variation, just like this. And I noticed because of this bar, the whole bottom's done because it, whatever you insert is going to solve the bottom. However, I also noticed this bar was here as well. 
which meant that I was going to get an entire skip. So if I just inserted it normally, I would have to do the OLL and the PLL which is essentially very slow. So instead I did the winter variation algorithm, which is like this. And it gave me a PLL skip, which is actually my fastest time ever in competition. It was a 2.12, I believe. But if I didn't see that, I might've got a four or something like that, which, you know, is fine, but it, it just makes you see that you can see a lot of other different things really quite easily with some algorithms you may already know. So anyway, start thinking about it when you look at your inspection in two by two, because you're already up to OLL sometimes. It's not like three by three where you start with the cross and everything and you gotta go through the, to the last F2L. Sometimes all the F2Ls are solved on a two by two because there's only corners. So it's just something to think about, but I really think it's something that you can incorporate into your solves and it doesn't really make that much of a difference uh, to your learning patterns because it's something you may already know. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.